10. This is a, for the Coastal Combat Amateur Middleweight Championship. Introducing first, out of the red corner, Darcy Noonan. Darcy Noonan stepping out to Wu Tang Clan. I immediately like this dude. Training under Jason Lonergan and Ryan Dunstan. He describes his fighting style as violent. But that's a great way to describe. I already know so much about this guy. You come out to Wu Tang, you describe yourself as violent, you train under guys with this type of pedigree. I've got a feel for what this fight is going to be like already. Muay Thai kickboxing record, 12 fights and seven wins. He's going to get after it. He feels that the way this fight is going to turn out is guaranteed victory on his part. Yeah, and you know the game bred blueprint and Darcy follows it very, very well. Strike, get to the grappling, hard grind and pressure, finishing the ground and pound. That'll be the game plan he brings in against Hank. But once again, pretty similar game plan for Hank. So who actually uh, puts their place uh, and steps it up straight away? If you look at some of the training partners, obviously Darcy's a big boy, but he's got Lonnie Philomahala. He's also got the very own Oren Palmley, both formidable uh, characters of their own. So he's certainly training with some killers across the board. Yeah, and to your point about striking into getting it into that game bread grinding style with his expertise in striking, it might just stay on the feet and he would be totally comfortable with that. Yeah, he's got quite a pedigree for Muay Thai as well in terms of uh, he's had uh, 12 fights, he's got seven wins and two KOs from the Muay Thai piece. So he can certainly strike as well. And introducing his opponent in the blue corner, Hank, Tiger Tank, King. All right, now we're going to have a bit of a fan favorite walk out. Making the first title defense, we have Hank, the Tiger Tank King, fighting out of Combat Lab on the Sunshine Coast. And it's going to get loud here, guys. He certainly is a fan favorite. And in talking about physiques, mate, yeah. he, has, he has certainly done the work. Yeah, if you're wondering why he's, his fight name's Tiger Tank, I mean, have a look at him. There's like a road map of how to get here to the sunny coast on his veins. Just an absolute specimen when it comes to it. That being said, he's also a formidable opponent, obviously currently holding the belt. He is the reigning champion. And uh, <laughs> is it a blue belt in BJJ. In terms of uh, MMA, he has uh, three wins so far, two by submission. He certainly can go the distance as well. There's a fair bit uh, cardio tank going on in there. One of the things in terms of, um, I spoke to him before, and one of the things he said is they both have prior kickboxing experience, so he kind of expects that to null each other out. Plus, they also both like to wrestle. I mentioned before, like the game plan that uh, Darcy may be bringing to the table. It's also Hanks game plan so yeah. it really comes down to who puts it in place better who actually uh combats the physicality of their opponent yeah. the quickest and who manages that distance and when you're training under joel zepasvari who's obviously an atos black belt and you got ty duncan constantly on your back grappling moving around with that guy eternal like a champion I mean, he's a coastal combat champion. He's a numerous time domestic champion that he's in the gym with you, testing you all the time. I mean, Hank, the Tiger Tank, he's ready to roll. And that being said, so Darcy has a win over one of Hank's training partners, who is also the XFC current amateur middleweight champion. So Ooh. not only is there a belt defense here, there's also a bit of a... Uh, a uh, bit of intrigue. A bit of revenge for a oh, teammate as well. You love to see it. Not even a glove touch. It's just a stare. The boys are at it. Here we go. All business. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, fight number 10 is brought to you by Privateer Barber. This is the Coastal Combat Amateur Middleweight Championship. We are scheduled for five by three minute rounds. Introducing first, in the red corner, he weighed in at 83.6 kilograms. He trains out of Game Bread Academy. He has an MMA record of one win for two defeats. 
Put your hands together for the challenger, Darcy Noonan. And his opponent in the blue corner, he weighed in at 83.8 kilograms. He trains out of combat lab martial arts. He has an MMA record of three wins for no defeats. He is the reigning, he is the defending coastal combat amateur middleweight champion. Give it up for Hank, the Tiger Tank King. Uh, you both know the rules. Listen to my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out fighting. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Thomas Churchill. And we get ready to unlock the chaos that will be the amateur coastal combat middleweight championship belt. Thomas Churchill, the referee. I'm so glad this is a championship fight. The shot. Coming from Darcy Noonan. I, I tell you what, I didn't expect that one. Maybe later on, but not so soon in the fight. Yeah, straight in it. So basically Darcy's really uh, crossed down the line. Head through a low kick. And that uh, kind of set up the hips a little bit for Darcy to shoot. How chilled does Hank look? He's been here many times before. Giving away nothing. Look at that base. Look at how he's dipping the shoulder right in that position, making the most of that underhook. He's not exerting himself, he's just kind of bracing himself. And there, as soon as he can feel a little bit of that weight come up, he uses that underhook to feed some of his arm around. Yeah, expect a bit of a bust turn over here and change just like that brute force turn. Doing a great job here, making uh, Andy do all the work. And it's part of the reason Andy's head is so high. That's why Hank is able to do the... Sorry, um, Darcy. Um, Darcy is able to do the work. Yeah, you're not wrong. He's, he's, he's having to keep this pressure on and keep him there. He's having to think about where his arms are going, but he's still undoubtedly putting the pressure on Hank. But there's not too much happening. Those knees are very good. At this stage here, he's moving his hips out, which is... Uh, giving him the ability to do the striking, but does open up a bit of a laneway for mm. him to spin it around and get the reversal on. Yeah. Both the boys going for knees. I love that when people uh, you know, they basically step away and they keep striking, so both boys have the same game plan. Yeah, absolutely. It shows a little bit of that fight IQ. I love striking on the break. As soon as there's a little bit of daylight, throw punches. Beautiful, Deep leg kick leg and a kick. shot down the middle. Both boys very composed. Once again, this can go five three minute rounds. Oof, another dense kick. Yeah, those things are going to start adding up after a while, which takes away all that power. It's oh. really well timed by Hank. He's waiting, watch the step, and then when he feels like the weight is on that leg, very difficult to check it, he's throwing it. This is what you expect from our boys fighting the uh, championship belts. Both of these are very seasoned fighters. Nice work on that kick. It basically stopped the shot moving forward. Oh, a shot lands from Darcy Noonan. A good right hand. Oh. And Hank looking to get some of those points back and some of that respect back as well. Here we go, last 10 seconds. That just did nothing to that quad. And Hank just smiles. Whoa, oh, a shot that lands last right at the end. Was huge. Very, very interesting stylistic matchup. Both guys kind of plotting, picking their shots, looking for their entries. I tell you what, I wouldn't mind seeing at least a few jabs coming out from Darcy Noon and being able to be active with that lead hand because he's letting too much of his length go to waste. Yeah, um, Darcy gave uh, Hank two really good, strong lead leg kicks. Now, it didn't seem to do much at the time, but those things will add up. And with the adrenaline will help, but once you get off that actual stand again, you might go, oh, wait a minute, that wasn't quite nice. Yeah, and we can see... Yeah, they are. Yeah, Darcy going to work on the outside there. If you're Hank, 
and, and you're such a formidable po f opponent, sorry, with that kind of power, I would like to see him pressure a little bit more. What I, what I did like is that Darcy kept the workload up. Yep. Hank was getting into the mind games, though. Oh, yeah. Like, I see that Hank was kind of smiling, going, yeah, I can eat those. That didn't hurt at all. Oh, yeah. And then finishing that left hook to, to finish off the round. Especially the with, buzzer. Yeah, with this many rounds as well. Expect the workload to be up here from Hank and Darcy. Both of them want to stamp their authority in this round. Well, I always look for the gym enforcer for the first round of sparring because I want to get it out of the way. And these boys are just throwing down. A shot goes into the eye of Hank. Yeah, he's got a bit of difficulty on that left eye. But Darcy Noonan's got five rounds with the gym enforcer, it seems like, and he seems to be at home. Sets up a right hand and it lands. Is he doing Hank a favour here by tying up? I, I, I think so. There was a bit of an overbalance there by Hank. And Darcy's capitalising on it with the uh, cage pressure. Oh, and, and knee, knee goes up top. That knee went right to the first chin and the second. Oh! Beautiful left hook. A huge one. And Darcy says return to sender. There's those right left hooks that uh, Hank's known for. I like this variety in strikes. Beautiful uppercut with that head movement from Hank. Oh, another one of those kicks. Is when you least expect it, when you hit him with that kick, that's the perfect time. At this stage, they're just getting their ranges back. Both boys look like they could do this all day. Hank's gone to that uh, upper calf again. Nice shell on that kick. Right, yeah, both boys throwing everything at them. I like that. I think there's a bit of code going on from the corner. Asking oh, for a is, shot. There is, it's a feint that comes up with a hook. I really like that. There is definitely code. I'm not calling out what it is. Oh, I think we're cluing on. <laughs> and I think Darcy might be as well. because That was a brutal little hook. I love it. And that's, that's the um, ability of having a well-trained um, fighter. Yeah, having that, that they connection. They listen to their corner. They know what's going yes, on. Yes, 100%. But Darcy's not making it hard for Hank. He's uh, got that jab working the second round. Oh, big one, but it crashes onto the guard of Hank, who sends one back. It's still not nice to get. No, not at all. Not at all. Oh, I love that hook. As a response, that's beautiful. And he's found a home for that left hook. He's getting Darcy a few times because that, that right hand is sitting a little bit low for Darcy. But he's also th throwing that right hand. Darcy's throwing the right hand from a lower distance, which is one of the reasons why it's finding its mark. Both boys going at it. Ooh. A one-two down the middle with those tiny gloves. Sometimes you try and show up and they sneak through. Oh, over the top. Throwing down to the boys. Knees from Darcy. The corner just asking Hank to try and get off the cage. He almost had a stonewall guard there. And they finished the round in a dust-up. Both boys going at it. And here we go to the replay here. Oh, man, when Hank comes in, he comes in. He's throwing. He's got his shoulders behind his strikes. And Darcy... Picking his time behind the jab. We're seeing some of that jab that I was asking for, and he's got a right hand waiting after it. Those knees are money as well. As soon as Hank's sort of wanting to throw down, we're seeing the clinch and the knees to follow. And those kicks from the size of those legs from Hank, that's insane. Go into your body, it's like a baseball bat. Both those boys are throwing it. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's more like a falling tree, mate. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, gravity is definitely working in that yeah. way. 100% and a really strong finish to the round for Darcy Noonan. And this is what it's going to come out. We go, we were walking around three. Remember, we have the championship rounds here, and these are two formidable clubs. Both of these teams turned up on weight. You expect them to have done all the work. Both in great condition. Good breathing patterns from both of them. Here we lock in for round three. Beautiful feints from Hank. To see if we can build off him. I wouldn't even mind seeing like a body jab or something from Hank to just get the guard of Darcy down, Ooh. being able to come in. And that was a brutal kick up the middle that just missed. Hank even gave a bit of a nod of appreciation on that one. Too. There's that jab. 
Just even keeping Hank at bay, trying to keep him on the outside. Something to think about. Yeah, you can see Darcy's really concentrating on that leg now. Anytime that Hank goes to throw, he's uh, trying to look and check. Almost routinely, when, when Hank eats a real clean one, he comes back with the barrage. Yeah, he, he comes back in combos. He doesn't usually throw one-off punches very often, so usually there's some combos coming in play. I like it. He's hitting leg kicks almost, almost trying to get Darcy to come in and unloading these punches, but I would like to see him setting them up himself more. Almost baiting him with some more of that pressure, maybe a body jab, looking to come inside and throw, rather than waiting for Darcy to hit these types of shots from the outside. Both these are venomous punches. There's so much power coming on the strikes of both these fighters. This is great matching. These fights kind of uh, set themselves up, don't they? Like both these guys yeah. know what they're doing. You know a guy's got crazy power when he when he flinches, it just makes a small movement and he gets a massive reaction out of his opponent. That's yeah. exactly what's happening. It certainly is. Oh, that left hook is finding a home on the chin. I love how he's not overthrowing it. He kind of knows the kind of power he's got. Both of us got power, though. They've got to respect each other here. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. 100, almost by default. Oh! 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 What a tank! Has found a home for what that left hook. What did you just say? What did you just that say? left hook. What did you just say? Oh my gosh. Power all day. Oh my gosh. And right now we've got the doctor in there making sure that Darcy is okay. Wow. I think that was on the tip of the chin. And here we, we go. We go to the replay. Hank covers up. They look to re-engage here. Slips Thanks. ahead to the outside. And Boom! Whoa! He was finding a home for that hook. And he sleeps, Darcy Noonan. I don't think he could have eaten any more of that punch. The form on that hook was legendary. Man, so tight, so and quick. Here we go for another replay. So Darcy Slips. throws, and there's that hook. It just cracks around the side. His legs gave way, and he just crumbled. Man, and fantastic sportsmanship. I mean, Hank knew he had him. He hit him, and he just crumbled. And still, in a big, big, big way. No question. And Hank defends our, his belt. Our medical team assistant, Kay Sider, provided by Beachmere Healthcare Center. James Denton and his team are longtime supporters of Coastal Combat, providing our fighters with fir first class it's good care to see Darcy since Nooney Coastal Combat up, 1. Getting all due medical We're attention. Not at Coastal Combat, you can visit them at a locally owned bulk billing yeah, family Hank practice in Beachmere, Queensland. Yeah, congratulations James and a team other, of dedicated so, clinicians um, maintain that the patients are their number one priority. Darcy back to his feet, obviously upset. Not how his championship aspirations turned out. But a valiant fight and a fantastic fight. Obviously not the result he wanted, but uh, he certainly showed one of the reasons why he was in that cage. Yeah. With the beast, Hank, Tiger Tank King, to retain his belt. Here to come and make it official, Thomas Churchill. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at two minutes and five seconds of round number three, declaring your winner by knockout in the blue corner and still Coastal Combat Amateur Middleweight Champion, Hank Tiger Tank. King! Man, that belt looks good around that waist. When you've got power like that, it is non-negotiable. Yeah, he certainly wears it well, doesn't he? When you could do something like that to someone with one punch, 
insane. You deserve a bit of jewelry. The boys are so proud of that victory and why wouldn't you be? No question about who is the champ. The crowd just absolutely erupted. There's such a big following for Hank here. I think he's growing that fan base, especially with this win tonight. I think it's a bit of an advantage having a seven foot tall person take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> but Dan Stavely's also happy there. Not only is Hank keeping the belt, he's also got a bit of fun. All right, ladies happening. and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner and still Hank Tiger Tank King. What a fight. That was that was great back and forth. Darcy Noonan really showed up and brought it to you. T give me your thoughts on the fight. Um, yeah, look, <laughs> I was planning to get in there, hit him with a bit of shit, bit of shit don't get hit. Obviously, that didn't go to plan, so we just started fucking swinging. Uh, hit me, hit me fucking hard, too, but I guess I hit him harder, so boom, and still. That was an impressive knockout. That was definitely a slugfest. There was some heavy shots going. Again, flying around the cage everywhere. Very impressive. How does it feel to be the champ and defend your title? Feels good, man. Feels good to keep this on the Sunshine Coast. You know, bring it back to the gym. That's all I want. Uh, is there anyone you would like to thank? Yeah, of course. First and foremost, my coach, Joel Sepinsvari, the entire team, the fight team. Like, <clears throat> I wouldn't be able to do this without them. Like, full stop. Um, I've got to thank my partner, Jess, as well. She's away in Sydney for work, watching this on the stream. So I love you, beautiful. Um, but yeah, just, just all my supporters, everyone who came here on the night, bought tickets, watched on the stream. Thank you all. All right, give it up for your winner. And still, Hank, Tiger Tank King.